Today we are looking at enzymes. Can you say enzymes, Kaya? Enzymes. Enzymes. Enzymes are a really important type of biomolecule in your body that help to speed up chemical reactions. So we're looking at a specific chemical reaction with hydrogen peroxide. So many of you have seen it, it's used as a disinfectant, but also your cells create hydrogen peroxide and it can be toxic to your cells if you have too many. So your body has an enzyme called catalase that helps the reaction of breaking down the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen gas and water. So H2O2 to, turns into O2 and H2O. Okay, so first we're gonna take initial observations. And our two beakers, if you see our two beakers, this one has beef liver. And what does this one have, Kaya? Apple. No, it starts with a P. P. Po. Po. Potatoes. Potatoes. This one has potatoes. So what are we gonna do with this, Kaya? Take its temperature. Take its temperature. Okay, so we'll look at the liver and the potatoes. You can also use chicken liver. It doesn't have to be beef liver. Um, that just happened to be what was at the store when I purchased the materials. You can also take some observations of what it looks like. Okay, if you wanna look at the liver, it's pretty slimy. It's kind of a dark red color. Uh, the potatoes are cut. They have a red skin with kind of a white opening. We always wanna take observations at the beginning of an experiment. Okay, this one is about 15 degrees Celsius. And these ones were not in the refrigerator, so they're a little warmer. They're about 20 degrees Celsius. So we always use metric measurements in science. Okay, hold on, Kaya. Now, for the fun part. Now, just so you know, the liver is in our bodies and it helps to remove toxins. Remember that hydrogen peroxide can be toxic in your cells. Potato is a potato, but every living thing has some of this enzyme. So we might see a different reaction. Let's pour a little hydrogen peroxide, about 150 mils, um, minus the volume of the potatoes, into the potatoes and see what happens. Yeah, that. Kaya, can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I see it. It's turning into bubbles. It's turning into bubbles. We'll show you the bubbles a little closer. It is foaming and having bubbles. What do you think those bubbles have, Kaya? Uh, potatoes. <laughs> they have potatoes, yes, it's potatoes. But those bubbles are part of the dissociation reaction or the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide into oxygen gas and water. So the bubbles are actually oxygen gas. They look kind of like bubbles in soda, but soda has carbon dioxide bubbles. So this is a bit different. Mom, let's put that Okay, let's do this one. So that's with the potato. Now a liver, we're gonna pour about the same amount, approximately 150 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 3% solution, the kind you get at the store. Whoa, look at all those bubbles. <laughs> wow, that's a bit of a difference. How does that smell, Kaya? It tastes like bubbles. It tastes like bubbles? It smells kind of like raw meat to me. Don't touch it, Kaya, don't touch it. Why? Because it's raw. We don't touch things in science unless the instruction tell us to, it's not safe. Okay, you see the big dramatic difference in that reaction? All right, feel the, feel the bottom of this, Kaya. How does it feel? Is, what temperature does it feel like? Hot, mm -hmm. cold, warm? Hot. It's hot. So now this is up to about 22 degrees Celsius. It is an exothermic reaction, meaning it releases energy. How about this one? This one is up to 21. It only went up about a degree, but also the reaction was not as dramatic. So looking at the reaction of these the two. The bottom is cold. The bottom's cold. And the yeah. top is So touching top. it isn't always the best way to find the temperature. What's the best way to find the temperature? To put this in. Yes, to use the thermometer. That's why we measure it. 
just to recap, we're looking at enzymes. Catalase is the enzyme that helps the reaction of breaking down hydrogen peroxide into oxygen gas and water. Now this reaction would occur on its own, but it occur really slowly and you wouldn't be able to live with it occurring that slowly. You'd get too much of it built up in your cells. So it helps speed up reactions. Oh, we're not putting petals in. Thank you, Kaya. So Kaya, what do you think of this experiment? Mm, rotten. Rotten? Okay, look at the camera. Tell them what you think. So it stinks. Stink, stink, stink. It's a little bit stinky. Stinky. Well, what did you see? Which one had more bubbles? That one. That one had more bubbles. So the liver had more bubbles. It had a more dramatic reaction, had a greater temperature change. And we can relate this back to the function of each of these things. A potato is part of a plant. Thank you. Now the liver, if you remember the function of the liver, that helps to remove toxins or bad things out of your body. So the liver would have more because it has more of the enzyme. So it can react a little faster. So that's our catalase with liver and potatoes reaction. We hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye <laughs> for now. Kaya, say bye. Say bye. bye.